Hi guys, today I want to show you how I made these flowers. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love the colors. This pretty big flowers is like a uh, three inches by three inches. This all color I came up with. Okay, let's start it. Put this aside. I use uh, the material that I use. I call my flower the baby burlap flower because I'm not really sure what it's called anyway. I bought the same such flower I use for my vintage flower. I bought the same store. I think I believe this one named Let uh Lenity. I guess so. I'm not really sure, but I guess. Anyway, did what the what the material look like? See, look like a. Uh, but left to me. Okay, I cut uh, one inch or seven eight. This one I, I think a little bit. Uh, I believe seven eight. Forty one and a half inch long. And I gonna color on the camera because I have lady ask me how I color my um, my flower if actually you watch my video all the time you see that I use over and over again the same thing anyway this time I gonna do it for you the four things that I use the same thing again my rubbing alcohol you can get at uh, any your local pharmacy this uh, sparkle grace I got from Hobby Lobby and Reinker you can use any Reinker you like and Perfect Pros or Pro X whatever you have it will find one of those and if you want to use if you don't want to use a sparkle grace you want to use this one so if you want to use this one instead of a sparkle grace please do not use with rubbing alcohol because these two they don't like each other okay you can use with this with this water do not use with this one okay but today I'm gonna use this my rubbing alcohol because dry faster then just water and I have my container here I bought this container and I wrote the name or the color that I use so when I'm done with it I don't have to clean to wipe it off so I just leave it there I'm gonna drop a little bit of grace in there and um, my rubbing alcohol here Try not to drop too much. It no measurement in here. I just guessing. And I use a little bit of uh, color drop in there. And Pro X here or Perfect Pro whatever. You know, mix together. Let me wear these. You know what? I find this one. It works best for me. And mix the ink together.
see the color is so pretty. I love doing this. Make sure the, the ink go all the way through. And now we gonna dry it. Let me grab my box if I find one. already dry and I cut the circle with needle point material here uh, cut I use the punch circle punch one and three quarter and then you're gonna make the flower of this I'm gonna use my hot glue here And you wanna fold like this. I don't know how far you, how big you want your flower to be. I think that's good. And you wanna fold up this. You know what I mean here to make a petal I'm gonna do all around the flower all around the circle I actually did uh, egg petals I'm so in love with this material, I can uh, go get some more if I have time. I'm not sure this kind of flower anybody did a tutorial yet. I haven't seen one yet. Anyway, I'm gonna do it to keep my flower collection anyway. And when you get all the petal, you wanna twist your material here around to make on a center like this I 
I guess you don't have to use the hot glue, but I want to use the hot glue because that uh, dry faster. You know what, actually this flower is perfect for um, your clothing and your skirt, your shirt. It's, I don't know, you can see a uh, sparkle on flower, it's so pretty. I love it. Here the flower that I made. Isn't that pretty? Okay guys, that's it, the flower. This uh, my flower in my store. If you guys uh, don't want to make by yourself, go to my store and look up. You want to buy some for me or you can make for yourself. Again, this type of material I gonna put the name on the screen so I don't want to pronounce it again. I don't want you guys laughing at me when I pronounce something wrong. I know you guys too sweet to laughing at me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye.